Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are doing a Walmart haul and we're tidying up and cleaning out my fridge. So to start, I picked up some extra baby shampoo since we were pretty much out and you know, the kiddos need to be cleaned. And then I also got some of these little parents choice nighttime underwear for Aubrey. I'm really hoping that she doesn't, you know, inherit my enuresis problem, but we'll see about that. Juan loves gnomes, so I had to pick up this little cute 18 month size shirt for Jack and then some extra undies for Aubrey. I got like a size way too big but she'd rather have them be too big than obviously too small so she'll grow into that and then a little shirt for Christmas. She kind of picked this out but I'm hoping that she forgets about it by the time she opens the gift from us. Then I picked up some of these sandwich bags. We had kind of run out and I couldn't stuff everything in one of my old breast milk bags for snacks. So picked up some of those, got some flushable wipes. If you haven't tried these, it does seem weird like the first couple times you try using them. But in my opinion, you get a quicker clean, especially if you have little ones and you're still wiping their behinds. I, I highly recommend. Then I got some more little um, like mini cupcake liners and some some essentials, butters, fats, things like that. I ran out of butter and I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of baking. And then obviously I had to stock up on some canned chicken fruits and I decided to get a lot of broccoli. I saw a YouTube where you can actually like roast frozen like vegetables and that apparently turns out really well. So I'm gonna be giving that a try. And then I got bulk flour and beef and I will be packaging this up later. So I'm not putting any of the refrigerated foods away just yet. I'm really just actually trying to clear up my island so that I can eventually clean up my fridge. So I'm just removing all the tags, taking out all the little cardboard that comes in all of the underwear, which is kind of annoying. And uh, we'll be washing these before the kids use their clothes and unwrap them. I figured I'm gonna be taking off the tags at some point, might as well do it now. And then, like I said, we're just gonna be putting away some of the non-food items around the house. So a while ago, I think in my like pantry organization video, I did mention that I wanted to create a good system for identifying whether or not I had extra of a certain item. And I think, you know, the best thing I could come up with, at least now, is just to label my currently used items. So in this case, my Crisco, I did buy extra because I knew I was running a little bit lower and I didn't have anything like an overstock. I figured I would label my currently used item with like OF, like overflow. I guess I could have done like OS for overstock. There's just some type of label. I could even just do a star or something to identify that I have an extra of these items in my little baskets in my pantry. So that is what I've decided to go with. I haven't quite figured out exactly how I'm gonna do it if I have like multiple. Like, so had I bought two extra Cris Criscos, you know, maybe I have both of them in the overstock supply and then when I break into another one I will label that and say okay I still have one left or you know something along those lines but that is kind of what I've come up with so far so that I don't overbuy supplies especially if I already have those food items. Then we're just taking everything out of the fridge, giving everything a good wipe down. Uh, these shelves got pretty dirty at some point. I really don't know how they got dirty, but we're gonna be wiping that down and putting everything back in a somewhat organized manner. It's not, you know, super Pinterest worthy, but it's organized and it works for us. It's like I can't walk on the ceiling Oh yeah Got me dreaming Dreaming in colors I never dreaming Oh yeah I let 
Okay, so moving on, we're gonna be bagging up our like large supply of flour and ground beef. And it figures like every time I get this big bag of flour, I keep thinking I'm gonna come up with a good method that won't spill all over my counter and it never works out. I try pouring it, I try scooping it, and they're there's still flour everywhere. So I'm just gonna have to come to terms with that. But I reuse all of these bags like that I've labeled flour, the gallon size bags. And when I'm done like pouring them out into my flour container in my pantry, I do just throw them back in the freezer and use them the next time. And so that way I'm not going through like gallon size bag after gallon size bag and I'm not wasting, you know, too much of that and then uh, they do stay in the freezer well and so it's just a better deal to buy in bulk and especially with how pricey everything is now uh, you know I'd much rather buy in bulk than buy like a little bit at a time and so that's also why I went with the 10 pounds of ground beef I decided I would portion them up into one pound portions so I'm labeling these quart sized Ziploc bags and then I'm going back and like saying, oh, I should probably put a one pound on here so that if a certain recipe calls for two pounds, I know I need to grab two of the bags. So anyways, I'm using my food scale and just portioning up the ground beef. And then once the ground beef is like portioned out into each bag, I'm gonna be flattening it out so that it freezes like a little bit easier, stacks well in the freezer. And then also it will defrost a little bit quicker when it's like nice and thin rather than like a big chunk of meat. But anyways, I would like to thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys are new, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. I do recipes on this channel. I clean and organize and just try to take care of all things mom. Um, as moms, we kind of wear a bunch of different hats and I kind of cover all of them on my channel. So I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. And again, I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.